In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the comp panel or the monitor panel. Let's get to it. Here in After Effects, I'm just going to import a video file. So I'll do this one for hover, it doesn't really matter, and I'm going to create a new composition with it. I just want to have something to show you. So the first thing is that I can navigate in my comp panel by zooming in. I can use my mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. If I am zoomed in and I want to see, say, the flag, I can press and hold the space bar and now that gives me the hand tool and I can click and drag to see other parts of the screen that before were not showing. It is important to note that I can select that tool here. Well, this is the same as the hand tool, but I mean, come on, pressing and holding the space bar is so much easier. All right? So zoom in and out. I can also zoom in and out by using Control or Command plus or minus. I can also use the period and the comma keys. Here at the bottom, I have a 25% magnification ratio, so I can say, hey, just fit it. So fit to whatever it is. So if this is smaller, it'll fit. If this is larger, it'll fit. So it's kind of sort of an automatic. And I can change it. I can zoom into 200%. Most of the time, I have it at fit. And then if I need to zoom in, I'm going to use my mouse scroll wheel. So easy peasy. Then I have a resolution or quality. This is how many pixels are going to be rendered here, right? So if I am at 25% and I change this to full, I'm not really making a difference. I'm only showing some of the pixels. So having this to render all of them doesn't give me really any advantage, you know, unless I'm going to zoom in and out. That, that sort of thing. So most of the time, it's important to just leave this at auto. And if it's at 100%, then it's showing me all the pixels, anything larger than that as well. But if it's smaller, then it shows me the amount of pixels that are appropriate to that magnification level. So easy peasy. All righty. If we keep on going to the right, you're going to see that there is something for fast preview where you can just go to wireframe, uh, if it's something, for example, in 3D and you want to preview it, but, you know, it's taking forever, you may want to change it to wireframe so that you can at least see the path, the motion, and all of that without having to wait two hours for it to render, you know? So you can also change, you can turn it off, you know? This is for fast preview. So I do an adapted resolution. In other words, I leave it at its default. So that After Effects shows me what it thinks is best. And, and this is simply for the preview here in the timeline. This will not affect your final render at all. So the next one is a transparency grid. We have seen that, uh, so I'm just going to go on. And the next one is to toggle the mask and shape path visibility. So if I had a mask, and I have a mask here, see how this is showing me the yellow outline? If I click here, it's not showing it to me at all. So if I want to see it, then I leave that on. And if I don't want to see it, I turn it off. I'm just going to delete that mask. I have a, a video just on masks, actually more than one. And uh, all right. So the next one that we have is the region of interest. Sometimes I don't want to see the whole thing. Sometimes it just takes forever. Say I just want to see the flag. I could click here and then click and drag only that gets rendered in the preview. So if I find myself waiting a lot for something to preview for me to see it or whatever, hey, you know what? Just click on the region of interest, draw a region of interest, and you're done. You're done now with the region of interest. You don't want to see it. Hey, click here again, and you got it. The next one is to display title and action safe areas. Uh, to display proportional grids, to display guides, to display rulers that I can use to take guides out of. So this is just the display of the, the things that don't render, but aid me 
in my uh, uh, in my work. In other words, I can have guides being the rule of thirds or grids being the rule of thirds, and then it helps me position things where they would be most advantageous for the message that I want to communicate. So I'm going to shut those off. So no proportional grid, no guides, and no rulers. Uh, and then the next icon is for showing the, um, the channel and color management settings. So if I want to see the red channel only, or I want to see the green channel only, or I want to see the alpha channel only, or the alpha straight, uh, I can just click here. I can also show RGB, and then I can set the project working space, and notice that this opens the project settings. This is what we went over already when we talked about project settings, but this opens it already in the color management tab. So you can just access this from the comp panel. Okay, going on, I'm going to leave this at the default. We have in here the, the, uh, the reset exposure button, which is like, what do you mean reset exposure? Well, I can increase the exposure here. I'm going to do some stupid, you know, like th that's ridiculous, right? Well, I can reset it simply by clicking here. See what I'm saying? Now, the next one is the, the snapshot, right? So imagine I want to compare two parts of my animation. And I get it. I haven't animated anything, but it's okay. I'm just showing you what the, the, the icon does. I can take a snapshot there, right? Boom. Now I can move to a different point in time and I can compare. Like, okay, that's where it's going to be. This is where it is. That's where it's going to be. This is where it is by simply clicking on that icon next to it. So it's kind of cool, you know? Then you have the time code numbers here. This is where the playhead is. These two numbers will agree. I can click here and I can type, for example, 1300, and then the playhead moves to 13 seconds, the same as if I had typed it here in the timeline. All right, there's only a couple more things that I want to go over, and that is this panel menu. Notice that almost every single panel in After Effects has what it's what a lot of people call the hamburger menu, which is these three lines to the right of the name. You can click here, and there are a lot of things uh, in here that you can change. The one that I really want you to, to go is the view options. So almost everything else is going to be self-explanatory. And as we, as we go through the training, you're going to go, oh, okay, you know, I get it now, I get it now. The view options is really what I want to show you. If by any reason you stop seeing, say, keyframes here in the comp panel, and when we go over keyframes, you will see them, or you don't see motion paths or whatever, just go to these view options and make sure that what you need turned on is turned on. And I think that's about it. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.